All right, so you, we know each other by now, but I tell you what, I meet so many new people, I'm used to introducing myself. I'm Aristotle Jones, I'm the Appalachian Soul Man. And Appalachian Soul Music is um, it's a mix of gospel, it's a mix of blues, it's a mix of soul, it's a mix of R&B, and then a little bit of folk music, too, that you get when you get an artist like Bill Withers or something like that, you know what I mean? You gotta understand where I'm coming from. And, and it's West Virginia music because during the, um, the 50s, 60s, and 70s, you guys ever heard of the Chitlin Circuit? Yeah, I, dude, you eat some chitlins? I'm eating chitlins too, man. My family, we do it every New Year's Eve. We do chitlins and coleslaw because you gotta be pork in your own cabbage, right? That's how we do it, right? I can tell you the whole story about chitlins, but man, we'll, we'll talk about that another time. But uh, the chitlin circuit was a circuit of black communities that crisscrossed the South where a lot of musicians like James Brown or Aretha Franklin or Bill Withers or those guys would find places to play in black communities, but they were like rural communities that would get them from the big cities like um, Pittsburgh to like another big city like Charlotte or, or maybe even like into South Carolina. So man, there's many, plenty of those stops that are along I-79 and along I-64 and I-77, right in West Virginia, this is kind of a big gap between North Carolina and Pennsylvania, you know what I'm saying? And, and that gap is West Virginia. And so, <laughs> so uh, you know, before the interstate system came through, places like Charleston, West Virginia, were hopping with artists that came through on like the steamboat ships, that would travel up the Ohio River and into the Canal River and go to Charleston, West Virginia, or they would be like in Bluefield, West Virginia, or Fairmont, West Virginia, where um, Johnny Johnson, the original Johnny B. Good, is from. Did you guys know that? Yeah. yeah, man, so how about that? I mean, so when I talk about like Appalachian soul music, I'm like talking from a real source. I'm not just like making stuff up or saying it because it's cute. It's like real. And so, man, I'm so proud to be the next generation of Appalachian soul men to come out. And so tonight, if you guys don't mind, we'd like to play our original music set for you and give you a little bit of taste of the future of Appalachian soul. Get ready for the...